There's levels to this in every game. It's and just like pussy. business in what general. Are, just to be clear, what are you? Prime. You're prime? Top notch. What makes you time, prime, top notch, Wu Tang? Uh, I mean, I have everything that you could possibly ask for as far as brains, beauty, ambition. I would build my man up to be everything he wants to be in this world. I'm, I'm the best investment he would ever make in his life. Really modest as well by the sounds of things. And my shit's exclusive. I've invested in my body. I have a $150,000 body. No one barely touches me. Yes, you can see me on Instagram because I'm paid to do that, but nobody touches me unless a man, yes, does take care of me. I like bosses. I like millionaires. I like someone who's going to mentor me, teach me, and invest in me. And get me to my highest level as well. Your shit ain't exclusive if it's free for people to see on Instagram. And just to be clear, what's a $150,000 body? Uh, four BBLs, two breast augment, technically five BBLs, but so we're gonna cyborg. go with four. Uh, two breast augmentations, obviously Botox, Botox, lips and lip injections, and then I had the fat buckle removed out of my cheeks on my face. Wow. And how young are you? 28. Damn. 28 and she's completely fake. She's made of plastic, bro. And I guarantee even after spending all that money on her face, she's still terrified of baby wives. 28. And what age do you want to get married? Uh, I don't necessarily have a time restraint on myself. I feel like God's going to, you know, make me cross paths with my future husband when that time is right. Keep telling yourself that, darling. So you uh, I probably have about another 10 million in real estate that I need to develop before that. Um, so that I can reach the caliber of man that I want to be my future husband. Men that are worth a serious amount of money tend to not give a shit about how much the woman makes. It's more about the way she looks and the way she acts. Got it. And how convinced are you that a man is attracted to a girl with ambition, brains, $10 million in real estate, or just being nice and sweet? What do you think a man is most interested in, especially the man that you're looking for who's worth millions of dollars? Does he want to... A, a, an ambitious boss babe or a nice, compliant, beautiful girl that doesn't give him headaches? What do you think most men like that would prefer? I don't, I, I'm not looking for what most men or most well, women are Well, you should be because you want like. that kind of guy, so you what should be. What do you be. mean? I, no, I'm looking so for I'm like asking, that, that one in a million where I'm, you're looking at like Grant and Elaine Cardone. You're looking at okay. like, you know, power couples, Jay-Z, Beyonce. Those people are building an empire together. She wants a one in a million man and she's not going to get anywhere with an attitude like that. And let's be honest, she's not that special. And obviously she's still got the mind of a teenage girl. She's comparing what she wants in a relationship to what celebrities have. But let's play in reality right now. You're not going to marry Jay-Z or Grant Cardone. For the sake of this conversation, you're going to marry some no, successful guy. No, my own. Guy. I'm going to have exactly, my own. <laughs> exactly. So that guy, how much is he worth? Close. Make up a number. A hundred million. Okay, so that guy that's worth a hundred million dollars, yes. go with me here now, yes. Kay. Does he want a boss babe who's trying to sell real estate or a trying? nice, lovely, compliant girl who's willing to get on his schedule? What do you think that guy wants? Think about it. Uh, well, I only date men that are at that high No, 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 no. I'm so asking what you think. I don't care what you think. I want to I know think they want me. what he They're thinks. They're constantly pursuing me. I doubt it. <laughs> What well, do you mean? Why, why aren't you married to one yet, though? Because I don't want to be married to one yet. I thought you just I've been said building you... my own business. But I thought I've you... been proposed to twice and turned it down. It wasn't you the right one. You turned down a guy worth $100 million twice? Mm, $50 million. Why the fuck you lying? Why? why you always lying? But yes. Why in the world would you turn him down? Because I still have things to do. So you think that you're just going to go find another guy <laughs> worth $50 million is ready to wipe no, you up? No, like I said, $100 million. I like to okay, double down. Okay, so the $50 million guy was just... Too poor for you. No, he just wasn't the right one. I'm calling complete bullshit on this. I think she's chatting out of her ass to sound interesting on a podcast and she's just making it up on the spot. If it is true and she's actually turned down two men that are worth $50 million and she's going to regret that shit forever because I don't think a poor man's even going to want her. You do realize there might be people in the comments calling you absolutely delusional right now. That's do you fine. realize that? I don't care what they have to say. Okay. So I'm asking you I to put yourself... <laughs> take off the I'm a hot girl, paid 150 grand, boss, babe. Okay. Priceless Punani, take that off. Okay. Give me a guy's name that you'd be willing to marry. A guy's name. Hundred million dollar guy. I don't. I don't know. Let's call him Jay Z. Let's call him. <laughs> let's call him Jay, because okay. we're not talking of Jay Z. Jay is worth a hundred million dollars. Uh -huh. Do you think? Think about it. Money. He cares how much money you make. No. You don't. Okay. Let's stop there. Do you think he cares about your attitude? He, uh, to an extent, yeah. To an extent. Yeah. He cares a lot about you. He cares a lot about your attitude. Yeah. But I have a great attitude. Now, no, you okay. Don't. <laughs> oh my god. 
You're not worth a hundred million dollars, so your opinion doesn't matter. Okay, so listen to me. You just said you. So turned only down a person that's worth a hundred million dollars' opinion matters. Yeah. As far as me like being on an intimate relationship. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a great attitude. He's not worth a hundred and fifty million dollars. He's just a peasant. Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? <laughs> what is Jay looking for? If this particular Jay wants a simple Sarah, then you can find a million of those. You can go to the club, you can go find a girl in college, or it's something so simple like that, you can find them, a, like every 100 girls is the same person like that, simple. I'm one in a million as well. And a $100 million man usually likes the extraordinary. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm attracting the extraordinary. Can I ask I'd actually say she's repelling the majority. All she cares about is a man's net worth. Any man with brains is gonna stay away from her. She's got no emotional feelings. All she cares about is materialistic shit and money. What do you think that a man in general like you said, a hundred million dollars is a guy that is worth talking to. Queen, I don't even know why you're talking to her right now. I don't even know why you're talking to her. It's okay. It's okay. Like, what are the top three things that you think that man values? I think he values business. They're looking for someone that they can procreate with, someone to take on their legacy. Do you think that they want to procreate with someone who thinks like you as opposed to a compliant, submissive woman? I would, I would assume so, yeah. If you don't get it, forget about it. Now, I don't think it's a bad thing that she wants to have her own business and make her own money. I just think her attitude is what shit. She doesn't really seem to me that she'd make a very loving mother. And I think a lot of men, when they look at the woman they're going to have a kid with, they want her to have maternal feminine instincts. And she doesn't really seem to have that. She seems like she'd be cold. That's not what men value. They don't want like a aggressive, you know, dominant woman that cares more about money and real estate, millions of dollars, as opposed to being a respectful, loyal, compliant woman. They just don't. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to help you out because you know you just turned down a, a get us worth fifty million dollars. <laughs> yeah. Acting like they just down the street, like you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, did she though? If we're being honest, probably not. Uh, yeah. Would you say that you're agreeable? To... No, just in general, would you say you're more agreeable or more disagreeable? Just answer the damn question. Depends on the in topic. In general, like, topic. so for instance, if you ask me, Adam, are you agreeable or disagreeable? I'm disagreeable as f Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm deceptive. Okay. So you too. I'm very deceptive. Yeah. Okay, if that dude comes along, do you think he wants an agreeable woman or a non-agreeable, disagreeable woman? That dude with a hundred million dollars. What do you want? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. <laughs> Yeah, you better agree, okay? okay. okay. Uh, if I'm worth a hundred million dollars and I'm like, hey baby, I need you to do this. Don't be like, why am I doing this? Because that dude, you know what he has? He's got, ready, wait for it, options. I know. So if you don't get on his page, th you said, McQueen, you don't even got a hundred million dollars. Why? I know, man. Just, I, dude, I don't even know why you're here right now, player. Here, no, no. I, I hear what you're saying. You got confidence, you got your swag, you spent 150 grand on your body, do your thing, whatever. I'm just letting you know, sweetheart, the more disagreeable you get, the more you'll be packing your shit up at that dude's house, letting I, you know. I never lived with a man, so. You've never even lived with a dude? What's well, clear that so you So you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! She can't even answer basic questions. She said herself she's disruptive. She doesn't care about people's opinions unless they're worth $150 million. And all she cares about is money. There's only one place she belongs. She belongs to the streets.